welcome. My name is Nigel Bajos, and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering why I still shoot in 1080p in 2018. All right, so before I get into like why I still shoot in 1080p, I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the misconceptions about resolution and actual visually appealing images. A lot of people have commented on my videos and you know kind of poked fun at the fact that I'm shooting with a 1080p camera like the G6s and the GH3s and, and they're saying hey my phone can shoot 4k therefore my phone is better than your camera. Really 4k is just the resolution that you're shooting in and it results in sharper videos sometimes but what I think actually makes a more visually appealing image rather than just a high resolution is the image sensor, like the sensor size, and the dynamic range. Those two things are way more important, in my opinion, than just pure resolution. You could get a C100 Mark II and shoot it against an iPhone, and obviously that C100 Mark II is gonna look way better than the iPhone. Why? Because the C100 Mark II has a much bigger sensor and better dynamic range, not to mention a better codec and all of these other professional features packed into that camera, but you could use the same example for basically any camera. My ADD, my GH3, the G6, all of those cameras have bigger sensors and better dynamic range than an iPhone does, and that's why you can always tell most of the time when something is shot on an iPhone. Regardless of whether it's in 4K or not, the iPhone just isn't gonna look as good as a camera with a bigger sensor, better dynamic range, and just an overall better looking image. Just remember that resolution doesn't equal better video. All it is is just a bigger image, basically, that when shrunk down onto a 1080p timeline or even just played on YouTube is gonna look pretty sharp, but that doesn't always mean that it's gonna look good. Okay, so why do I shoot in 1080p? Especially now in 2018 when there's so many affordable 4K cameras out there, like the G7, the G80 is even coming down in price. The Sony A63 and 6500s aren't that much money. Now why do I still shoot in 1080p? I've been shooting with the GH3, the G6, and now the ADD. Even before that, I shot with the little EOS Ms. So for me, it really just comes down to price and speed of productivity, I guess. So I know that like I was saying, the 4K cameras are pretty cheap, but a lot of the really cheap ones also have not so great codecs, so they're highly compressed 4K codecs. And so because of that, putting them on your computer and trying to edit them, it's gonna be pretty slow, you know, even if you have a, you know, a pretty fast computer. Now, obviously, if you have a fast enough computer, those bad codecs aren't really gonna slow you down that much, but for me, I have a 2014 MacBook Pro and I'm trying to edit highly compressed 4K footage on my MacBook Pro in Premiere is just, it just takes way too much time. I've done it before and it's just, I don't like it. I much prefer editing my GH3 1080p footage that shot in Ally or even more so my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera in ProRes or in RAW. That's so much faster and easier on my editing system than highly compressed 4K footage from like a G7 or something like that. So it's not really gonna cost me so much on like the camera end, but if I wanted to speed up my productivity, it would actually cost me more money because I would probably have to invest in a brand new computer. And that's where my money would probably go to more than my camera, is just buying a faster editing computer to edit my stuff on. And as far as like productivity, I think that 1080p, it takes up less space on your memory cards and on your hard drives, and again, it's just quicker to edit. It's way easier on my MacBook. I can just throw pretty much any 1080p footage onto my timeline and edit it really smooth without any dropped frames. And that's something that I actually value a lot is my time in front of the computer. Like, I like editing and grading and stuff like that, but like, I don't like to spend hours upon hours in front of my laptop. I think that that can really slow you down and really make you like not want to shoot because you know that you're just gonna be spending hours editing and pre-rendering and rendering all your footage out. And although that extra resolution might be nice to play around with, for me, it would just slow me down more than anything. So those are like the main reasons why I don't shoot in 4K, even though it's not that I can't afford a 4K camera because 4K cameras are super cheap these days, but it's mostly just that it would slow down my productivity and 
cause me to have to buy a new computer, which I'm just not ready to do right now. My trusty MacBook Pro is working perfectly fine as far as editing 1080p stuff. And I know what you're saying, like, it is possible to like make proxies and just edit with the proxies instead. But even that process, like I've done that before and maybe I'm just super lazy and impatient, but even that process to me is just, it just, it just takes too much time. I like to just throw my raw footage right onto my timeline and edit it there and not have to create any proxies or do any batch convertings to like ProRes or something like that. I've done that before, I know how to, I know that it does speed up the actual editing process, but it actually slows down everything else for me. So those are the main reasons why I shoot in 1080p and honestly, like I've built my entire channel on shooting with just 1080p cameras and I still don't think that it's absolutely mandatory to shoot in 4K. Obviously 4K is nice, it gives you that extra crispness that, you know, is really nice to have. And if you have a fast enough computer, obviously go for it, you know what I mean? But if you don't have a super fast computer and you're worried about like how much your computer, you know, chokes up when editing 4K, I would just say you can just shoot in 1080p whether you have a G7 or if you have a 4K capable camera, that's nice to have, but you don't really need to shoot in 4K, at least in my opinion. I think that you can get away with 1080p and it still looks really great. I see videos all the time shot with a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and it looks so good. Even the GH3 still holds up today. The G6 is really nice still. Yeah, they're not in 4K, but I still think that cameras that shoot in 1080p can still produce a really visually appealing image. So yeah, if you're wondering why I haven't switched to 4K yet, it's mostly just because I'm lazy and I don't have a fast enough editing computer. <laughs> so anyways, that's why I still shoot in 1080p in 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful or entertaining at all, it'd be great if you hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content and even hit that bell if you want to be notified for when I upload new videos. I have links to a bunch of gear that I recommend in the description below as well as links to my Patreon and self eye account if you want to pick up some LUTs or support me on Patreon. If you support me on Patreon for two bucks a month, you get all my LUTs for free. So if you're into that, all the links are down there. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Later.